In this neighborhood in Notre Dame de Lourdes, Manitoba, Canada, this new church building wasn't left unnoticed by the residents, including James Rosso. Actually, I was out the, earlier this week just for a ride and I was driving by, saw the new building and I met a gentleman that was working on the house across the street. He told me what the church was all about and that the dedication was this weekend and he invited me to come out. For James, this was the first time that he has ever heard of the Church of Christ. So he accepted the invitation to experience a chapel dedication in the Church of Christ. Well, it was different for me. I have not sat, sat through a service like this for in particular, mm -hmm. and to see the unison of the people joining in with prayer as the uh, leaders would pray and people would join in and agree in prayer, that was exciting to see and see, see the order. We be able to give glory and honor unto Him. We thank God that this day has finally come. Dennis was also a guest whose interest in the Church of Christ and curiosity about the new house of worship in his neighborhood have grown. A very warm, welcoming feeling. It was almost like home. As soon as I walked through the door, everybody was right there to greet me. and felt very, very comfortable. The special worship service was led by Brother Sidney Santos, the district minister in the District of Canada Three. And English and Cristo members, along with their guests from all over the district, were joyful to not only witness the dedication of this new worship building, but to also learn about the Church of Christ. Even in our dedication today, there were some visitors that already wanted to become members of the church, and so we're thankful for that. It's commonly Roman Catholic territory and Presbytery and so forth, but with the Church of Christ, I do believe that it's going to open a lot of people's eyes. I am very interested in the uh, evangelical mission and I'm kind of excited. <laughs> Once again, we ask the brethren and even our present visitors to listen closely. Being justified therefore by faith. Uh, the scripture that was read, a lot of scripture read and uh, I like that. that. That was exciting to me. <laughs> Puno-puno ng, ng kagalakan na hindi kayang tumbasan ng anong pamang salapi. Ang aming puso, galak na galak. Nais namin ipaubot sa pamamahala na kami nagagalak sa kanilang panguna sapagkat pinagkalooban nila kami ng maganda at napakaayos na bahay-sambahan. Right now, compared to what it looks like before, we're so amazed, especially the inside. It's a wonderful chapel. For many years, our brethren here in Notre Dame have been worshiping in the house of one of our brethren. And they have outgrown that place of uh, worship. And so this house of worship that we were able to dedicate today is a place where they can run to, turn to, especially with problems in life, but also render their services to our Lord God. From Manitoba, Canada, I'm Jeb Javier reporting for the Iglesia Ni Cristo News Network.